John Jameson was an artist. Born in 1842, he was a professional pianist in New York by the time he was a teenager. The great American landscape painter Frederick Church discovered Jameson's painting abilities, and by 1859, Jameson was enrolled in the National Academy of Design. When asked where Jameson's future lie, his piano instructor, the renowned composer William Mason, replied, I was not competent to judge his ability as a painter, but it seemed to me that I had never met with a finer musical talent. Mr. Church expressed a nearly similar opinion regarding his talent for painting. When the Civil War broke out, Jameson wanted to enlist, but he was talked out of it by his friends and colleagues. He spent the first two years of the war traveling upstate New York, painting landscapes and performing in New York's finest music halls. His paintings captured the essence of the Hudson River School of Painting, and his patron, Frederick Church, felt he was destined for greatness. But the call to serve was too strong. John Jameson enlisted on January 2, 1864, telling his friends, I should be ashamed to be staying at home at my ease while others were fighting at the front. He joined the 1st Connecticut Cavalry, and served as a quartermaster sergeant. Although ever the musician, he frequently led his comrades in camp music. He was captured on June 29, 1864, and sent to Andersonville. Almost as soon as he arrived, he was admitted to the prison hospital with diarrhea, where he died on August 31st, 1864. He was buried in grave 7,365, but this stone is no longer there. Jameson's friend and patron, Frederick Church, arranged to have him exhumed in 1866 and reinterred in Hartford, Connecticut. This gap in a sea of headstones represents the lost potential of John Jameson and the thousands who gave their lives in defense of our country. His best work died with him, unpainted for eternity. His future did not lie with exhibitions in the Met or the Louvre or more Broadway performances, but rather in an empty grave in rural Georgia.